What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Combat Corporation, your source of combat sports. I'm your host, Al the Postmaster Tomorrow, and today I have a review on the box rope jump rope. And uh, this is a very impromptu review. I just got to the gym, no one's here, it's kind of late, it's like almost midnight now. Uh, I, I'm a weirdo, I work out on the weekends if I can't sleep. Uh, but basically, uh, so many people have asked me since I made a YouTube short about this, of like my first impressions using it, of what I think about the box rope. And I've had so many requests, whether it be emails or Instagram messages uh, or comments on that one YouTube short to actually do a full length review. I don't think the review is gonna be very long simply because for me, it's a jump rope. It does what I need it to do. And in all honesty, there's nothing entirely special about this rope. Uh, and I kind of saw a lot of comments kind of aiming towards that. Uh, basically guys, the way I could word it to you is this is a box, uh, this is the box rope. It was made by people that are boxers and they said that this is specifically for boxers or people in combat sports as a 2-0 professional heavyweight in MMA. Um, I've used every single uh, jump rope you can think of from the age of 12 when I started boxing from Buddy Lee, Rush Athletics, your basic Walmart uh, jump rope, any type of boxing brand that's had a jump rope, you know, a Rogue Athletics, whatever it might be. Uh, any type of jump rope you can think of, I've probably used, whether it be leather, beaded, cable, uh, plastic like this, anything, right? So so there's a ton of different ropes out there. I, I own a lot of different ropes because I love variety. And today I picked the box rope just because I wanted to try it. Uh, again, I've used it uh, through and through, uh, through my last fight. Uh, I used it all the way throughout the fight prep for that. Uh, but overall, it's just a basic plastic jump rope, to be completely honest with you. The, uh, the qualities of the rope, it says it's supposed to be 15% or 20% heavier than other ones, so you get a nice shoulder workout. I personally don't feel a different weight uh, compared to a lot of other ropes. Maybe it's because I'm bigger than some. But in general, it's just, once again, basically a plastic jump rope. Uh, it does come with like grip tape that you can wrap around it. I personally don't like using grip tape on my jump ropes. The handle that it comes with is usually fine. Um, I prefer wood handles because I like the grip on wood, but the plastic handles are fine. They get a nice grip here. Uh, and as you can see, they're the same slanted, um, you know, up towards the top. So the rope can come through and bigger at the bottom. Uh, super easy to adjust. You can see where I cut it. It's very easy. You just pop this part off up here and then you slide that up and down then it locks down like that super easy to adjust it i didn't need to adjust this that much actually i think i only cut maybe a foot off it because i i, I jump pretty fast so i actually have shorter ropes that's why i prefer uh, but overall the plastic handles work pretty good for me and uh, the cable is fairly basic i think you can get a couple different colors you can get them in like the cable comes in white like i got black and gray uh, but that's kind of what you got going on here. Once again, easy to adjust. Uh, nothing's very special about like the look and overall design to it. Do I think it's made specifically for boxers, combat sport athletes? Doesn't feel any different from any other jump rope that I bought for the same price, around 35, 40 bucks. Uh, Buddy Lee's another one that's even more expensive. Rush Athletics has ropes like this. This feels a lot like the Rush Athletics money rope. Only I like the colors you can get with the money rope because I love orange and this is just, you know, black and white, which is kind of boring. And I like seeing the color over my head when I jump rope just to kind of break the monotony up. But I figured I'd give you guys kind of a live demonstration of the box rope a little bit. I'm trying to back up a bit so you can see everything from feet to head. I don't know, I'm using my phone, so if it's really loud, there's a fan going on in the back. But you guys have asked for this for a little bit, but um, a good way to measure the rope is when you step in the center, bring it up and you want it to kind of be right underneath your uh, breastplate here, you know, uh, right that, and that's what I like for a measurement. Some people will say step on it and make sure that the rope can go up to your shoulder like that when you do it this way. Uh, it's a little underneath my shoulder because I like shorter ropes. Um, and I'm six foot, so I don't know if that helps you at all with the measurement, but that's what I got going on here. Uh, but that's basically uh, what you got as far as the measurement and the way it looks. Very easy, it is tangle resistant. Uh, like I said, it, it says that it's supposed to be heavier than your average rope. I personally, don't feel a whole lot of difference compared to a lot of other ropes. I can definitely feel that it wants to go forward a little bit more, but it doesn't feel heavy. Um, it doesn't feel heavier than most. If I wanted a heavier rope, I would just take tape and put it on the front of it. So I guess that kind of sucks if you don't want a rope that has more weight to it. It's gonna burn your arms out quicker. Sometimes I like using just super light rope so I can, scuff, so I can jump rope for way longer. 
Uh, you know, I like to do skip rope sessions to warm up for a half hour or more sometimes, depending on how I feel. Like today, it's just a brief warm up. It's almost midnight. Probably going to do like 15 minutes on this and then go do my thing. Uh, but overall, uh, the weight is pretty good when you try and just warm up. You know, if you want to do your Floyd Mayweather impression, you can pass it under the legs pretty good. It has pretty good weight, but that's more of a skill thing. It's just by practicing it, it goes side to side pretty easy. And then just jumping. In general, it doesn't feel any different from any other rope that I've ever really used. Double unders are the same, squats are the same. In general, it just feels like a regular classic rope that I've used for over a decade, really. I mean, honestly. So do I think that it's specifically made for combat sport athletes? No, not really. Uh, I think anyone could use it. Um, it's cool marketing. I'm not really going to give it a rating because there's tons of ropes that do the same exact thing. Uh, 35, 40 bucks, maybe a bit much. I definitely buy it for 20, 25, but you know, I, I think this appeals to boxers uh, because of that. I think the marketing did a lot more with this rope than the rope itself. I've enjoyed it, but um, I'm just going to use it till it breaks like I've done with every other rope. So in general, uh, is it worth the, the buy? Sure. Uh, it's kind of up to you on that one. If you want to spend the money, go ahead. But honestly, if you get one from Walmart, this is definitely better than one from Walmart, but you can do the same thing. It's just practicing with the jump rope. I don't think the rope makes how good you're going to jump. Just like I don't think gloves make you a better boxer. It's all the amount of time you're going to put into it. So for me, you know, go on, do all my tricks and whatnot. It's just practice. So with that said, I have to say that the box rope jump rope is pretty cool, but it's not really just meant for combat sport athletes. So that's probably the shortest review I've ever given on anything. And with that said, I'll see you in the next episode. See ya.